This is uh, Wade's Wacky Wednesdays with Wesley. I'm Wesley. And we are your hosts. Drinking coffee at the end of the trail. Welcome to the Aztec Caves. <laughs> Starbucks Sumatra blend. Hey, what's up everybody? On the internet, this is Wade. And this is Wesley. And we're having a Wacky Wednesday together. Heck yeah! Also known as Wade's Wacky Wednesdays with Wesley. Whoop whoop! So, we're usually pretty goofy, but today we're actually going to be a little serious. Um, yeah. I'm sure you noticed that we actually haven't produced as many trips as we had been. It was of what we said, what we planned to do. And uh, it just hasn't happened, and there's reasons yeah. for this. And I think reasons is better because they're not really excuses, I don't think. But um, so on that last hike that you all saw Wade go by himself, I was unable to go because I was actually in a jiu-jitsu tournament, and I got caught in a rear naked choke, and they weren't necessarily choking me, but they had like the choke on my skull. Sure, and I can you show an example. Yeah, so show like it. this rear naked choke like that and they started squeezing <laughs> and somehow they managed to pop one of my ear bones um so yeah ear bones yes ear bone bones i didn't even know i had bones in my ears apparently, i didn't even know he had bones in his ears either apparently i have ear bones but yeah i busted one it was pretty nasty because later that day like i had like a little bit of blood in the ear canal and i was cleaning my ears it, it was pretty nasty and um, where Wade was going was actually a, a pretty high altitude, and yeah. it didn't seem like it would be a great idea. It was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of elevation gain in a, a short time, so it was, it was pretty strenuous. Tell, tell them the reason why we decided that it wouldn't be a good idea for you to come on that hike after that ear injury. So, what was happening to me, oddly enough, was I would lose, like, I'd be fine, normal, and then, like, either a loud noise or, like, moving my head in just a, a certain way would trigger me to lose my balance. And I'd lose my balance for, like, a, I'd be, like, like a baby giraffe for, like, a good five to ten minutes, and then my body would readjust. And what we were worried about is going on a hike with a 60-pound pack and we're on, a, on the edge, you know, because we're going to be walking on some, some ridge lines, and I lose my balance and fall to my death. So, Which wouldn't be good. Nope. Wouldn't be good for either of us. <laughs> so that's why we didn't go on that, that hike. Well, now, that's why he didn't come on this hike, yeah. or that hike. Uh, so that was my first solo hike, and uh, it was actually pretty cool. At the end of the hike, though, I haven't released part two. This will be out before that. Well, you'll see. Uh, it got crazy. It got very hairy at the very end. And, and I would have felt bad for this guy. <laughs> and he was by himself. Yeah. Just say I was bleeping bricks. Bleeping bricks. Bleeping. Well, so we canceled. We wanted to do a haunted series with obscure terrain. And we were all lined up to do it. Yeah. Tell us, tell us down in the comments below. What do you guys think if we start doing series on our big adventures? Uh, tell us what you think about it. We want to do different series, and Haunted was one of them. 
we were gonna go to like an old mining town that was completely abandoned mm -hmm. and try to get killed by a serial killer and yeah. or um, mutagenic cannibals in the hills. Yeah, just all depends what comes our way. But we had to cancel all major adventures due to. Uh, so, Wesley I, will give you the 411. <laughs> so, I had a car wreck. And for the most part, I am relatively uninjured, but it looks like my I have a little bit of twisted vertebrates. And so, uh, I'm uh, having to go to a chiropractor, and he told me no spinal compression whatsoever. So, unfortunately, that means I can't carry a backpack that. I would actually be able to survive off of in the wild for a while. So hopefully by November, um, we'll be able to start going on adventures again. It also means no jujitsu, and, and it's terrible. Yeah, two of Wesley's favorite things. Just he has taken to take away. Break. Make sure, folks, when you're out there, pay attention to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, this lady ran a stop sign, and I rammed into her at 50 miles an hour. It was pretty awful. And if I hadn't, if I'd been on my phone or anything, I would have killed that lady for sure because I wouldn't have been able to swerve. So, you know, it's not just people like will be on their phones and think like, oh, I don't mess up when I'm driving, so I can be on my phone. It's the other people that mess up. Exactly. So moving on, we decided that we had to get more creative um, and see if we could actually start another segment. Which brings us to this one. We want to take people in the El Paso, Las Cruces area, just on day hikes, and at the end of the trail, make some coffee, and just talk, yep. and uh, you know. Have that open, um, you know, that satellite radio vibe, where yeah. folks just talk. Because we love to talk, as you guys know. <laughs> and we love satellite radio. Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah, I don't listen to that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, tell us in the comments down below. What if, what if we start doing this as a segment? Would you, would you guys be interested in coming along? Do you know somebody that would be interested in coming along and having coffee with us, and we just talk and talk about their life, where they're from, what they got going on, and everything? Maybe that's what we're gonna do today with us. Maybe even ancient aliens sometimes. Yeah, if you if you know an ancient alien, send them our way. So yeah. this coffee is still kind of hot, so we haven't started sipping on it, but. Mm -mm. Here come some people up the up into the cave. I can hear them. So if you hear some ambient voices, know that it's not us. Um, we're actually in this Az the Aztec caves in El Paso. Uh, it's in Tom Mays Park off of 375. So you guys, if you're out, a local person, you should come show this park some love. It's it's really cool. Yeah, this is my first time here actually. Lots it's big old cave. Super cool. It's one of those hikes that you could go away like in an hour. You can feel like you went on a big adventure. You know. I actually really don't know much about this. <laughs> where, where do you come from? Where, what's, what's your past like? What, what's your drives? What's your hobbies? Uh, what okay. makes you a man? Have you ever seen like a grainy old 1920s detective film? Yes. Where there's like a solo jazz song? Yeah, and there's a lot of cigarette smoke in the room? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's nothing like my life. That's good. <laughs> Means he doesn't have cancer. <laughs> Well, actually, I hail from a place called the Tenth Planet. It's way outside the solar system, past Pluto. That's why we call it the Tenth Planet, because it's past Pluto. Anyways, I'm actually here from El Paso, <laughs> Texas. Um, I was born and raised, I think I was born in Del Sol Hospital, or no, no, no. I think I was born in Thomason Hospital. Damn, you know what hospital you were born in? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you're from El Paso? But I'm from El Paso. So, yeah. Basically, let's see. Let me give you a recap of my life. Went to high school. Did cross country. Um, sucked at it. Um, but I ended up being very fast at the end of it all. Um, faster than regular folks. Then I went off to college. Um, I studied biochemistry at UT Austin. Quit on the very last year because you know what? I decided to live my life the way I want to live it. And I was um, definitely uh, going through a phase of just following along with like what society wanted me to do. I definitely enjoyed chemistry and biochemistry, but I sh realized as I got into learning more about it that like unless you're rich, like you have to always constantly be begging the government for money to fund your research. And I didn't want to live like that because it sucks. Like you have to like beg other people for money to pursue your dreams. 
Uh, it, it seemed pretty hard. Saw a lot of heartbroken scientists in my day. So I left True. there, came back to El Paso, uh, and I started doing sound and lighting. It was a skill I had since I was younger because my dad used to own a, a company way back in the day and I would work for it. And now I work for another company and we just install shows and uninstall shows. That's where, uh, that's where actually I met this guy, was at, uh, at work. Yep, and oddly enough, when I first saw Wade, I'm kind of like a, a blurter, like... <laughs> he just blurts things. <laughs> I just blurt things. <laughs> um, so sometimes it, it can lead to bad and good situations. And I, so uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar with the staging industry, but you've been to a concert and you've seen how like the lights and the speakers are floating in the air. Well, someone actually has to climb up on like a one foot beam, drop a rope down, pull up a chain, tie it to that beam, and then they, that's how they actually hang all the lights and truss. And that guy was this guy. So when I was like, when I like walked into the building. That's me. I just see like this rope and I see like this like red headed guy. I'm not red, red headed. Man. Red, red bearded. This red bearded guy, all I could see him was his face looking down and a red beard, and I was like, who is that guy? You know, his face is upside down. He looks action packed. I think me and him are going to travel the world together. Yeah, that's what he told me. <laughs> I, I introduced myself, met him down when I came down, and uh, uh, he's like, hey, bro, we should sail the world together. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> he was like, at first I was like, Oh, he must be a rich kid. I'm down. <laughs> he was like, what? <laughs> but, yeah, that's how we met. In my future, I see myself on being a jiu-jitsu black belt and an entrepreneur. Pretty much, pretty much that's it. Nice. Two things to focus on. They're both kind of meaningful, so. There you go. Yep. Sums it up. The life of Wesley. Yep. And... Yeah, so my hobbies and passions, I, I really like um, my, t my ties um, while I'm practicing Muay Thai in Thailand. <laughs> you know, my ties, the drink. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I was thinking you were talking about that, but I was like, wait a second, did you mean to say Muay Thai? <laughs> I've actually never been to Thailand, but I have had a Muay Thai and a Muay Thai class, so there you go. <laughs> hand in hand. Hand in hand every time. That hand to hand combat. But, um,. Yep, that's how my ear got weird. I don't know if you can see it. Mm, yeah, you probably can. I don't know. Well, maybe they just think your ear looks weird. My ear wasn't always like that. If you actually follow along, follow the show. <laughs> yeah, but, if you look closely, each episode his ear deforms more and more. Yep, until I deform into what will look like Shrek. Well, you gonna ask about me, bro? Is it all about you? No, it's almost always about me. That's what makes me a bad friend. Yeah, he's a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> she gets in people's eyes. All right, all right. So, of course, my name is Wayne McMahon, and I hail from a small town called Catazozo. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But uh, in episode five, where we took Francisco, uh, that's where the Valley of Fires is located, just outside of Carazozo. But, uh, we almost died out there. <laughs> yeah, it got really cold, as you can tell. The last time I was in a cave, no, because I've been here before that, since that adventure. <laughs> but, yeah. Luckily, we found that cave. But anyways, I grew up, uh, I grew up all around, actually, um, through Carrizozo and Rio Doso, and, uh, uh, I don't know, I just come from hard work, honestly. Uh... My family was not rich, so we made the best of everything. Even like home cooked meals scratch from scratch. I remember my, I remember my mom bought uh, tortillas for the first time, and I guess me and my brother refused to eat them because they weren't homemade. <laughs> and she said we could starve, so we ate them. <laughs> but uh, after that, uh, of course, I went to high school, and then I got tired of just being in high school because I felt like I was wasting my time, so I started doing a homeschooling and to get my uh, high school diploma it wasn't to get a GED so I actually got my high school diploma but at the same time while I was doing homeschooling I started working and building houses and helping people and 
worked on a golf course, but I was earning money at the same time and I was doing pretty good actually. I earned quite a bit of money as a, uh, from 16 to 18. And then from there, I was like, I'm gonna move away. So as soon as I turned 18, I left. And I moved up to Rio so made some bad decisions. Well, <laughs> Got <laughs> kind of bad decisions. <laughs> uh, just relationship bad decisions, you know? One of the most important decisions you can make. Yeah, so after that, uh, I just uh, flew solo for a very long time. I ended up working in as a stagehand for a while through Albuquerque and Ridoso and random places. I was just kind of couch surfing everywhere. And then I ended up getting a job in Las Cruces at one of the public schools and then started working for the company that we work for now. And that's where I met Wesley. Yeah, but so where did you meet Abby actually? I don't think I ever heard that story. Uh, I met Abby through, uh, I guess, a mutual acquaintance. But uh, she uh, just came to a party and then started hanging out and then hung out a few more times and we didn't really want to be serious at all. And then, <laughs> lo and clowns. behold, yeah, seven years later, we're still together and uh, rocking life. I mean, we're both entrepreneurs, uh, started a business, it's been finally picking up and I don't know, we like doing projects and stuff. That's Heck yeah. I mean, I was in a band for a long time so I kind of look at Obscure Terrain as a band but it's kind of fun it's, it's funner because get to test ourselves there's no late nights with whores <laughs> no only <laughs> late nights in some crazy ass weather yep wondering was this a good idea <laughs> you know what's funny too is um so at, at the jiu-jitsu place i train at there's a, a guy who had just gone out of ranger school and he like heard about what we do for fun and he's like dude that's crazy <laughs> oh why do you do that <laughs> He's like, I did it because I have to. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people ask us. I don't know, it's, it, it's fun, yeah, it's, it's a good test. And I mean, honestly... Very good test. Yeah, because, I mean, not only are you dealing with uh, physical exertion, you're also dealing with mental exertion and the elements. The mm -hmm. elements is the worst, because it can change. Okay, well... Unfortunately, um, the batteries on our Q2N are, are dying. dying, so uh, probably going to have to cut this segment a little short. Yeah, but tell us what you think about it down and below in the comments. Give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube. Share it on Facebook. Yeah, and on Instagram. Go ahead and follow us. Uh, we want to keep doing this because we can't go on any big adventures, and we have tons of people that hit us up that want to go on trips. And, and they want to be a guest on the show. Yeah, so but this they don't is a, have the gear. So this is a good test run. Yeah, and uh, we are implementing some things where you're gonna have to have certain gear to come on the big adventures. Yeah, this gives a good a good segue to let people come and uh, enjoy some hikes and some coffee in the morning at the end of the trail. And you know, we can pick easy hikes, we can pick moderate hikes, and we can pick hard hikes. True. Depending on what we want to do. But uh, and yeah. maybe this could be a regular thing if you guys enjoy it. We could talk about relevant event, current events. You know, mm -hmm. make some obnoxious commentary on what's going on in the world. Yeah, just leave that comment down below and let us know what you think. And man. if you want to be a guest on next Wednesday's segment, definitely message the Instagram um, for the fastest response. Yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have this video up everywhere. Uh, on that note. Let us know if you like the name. Wait. Wacky Wednesdays with Wesley. Yeah. Coffee at the end of the trail. Hell yeah. Alumni. Blue cup. Yep. Big bad blue. Big bad blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Later, guys. Laters.